It is my honor to introduce our student speaker for today's ceremony, Seth Moorkirke. Seth Moorkirke is the son of Joe and Stephanie Moorkirke of Gillette, Wyoming. Seth is the captain of the Blue Hawk football team and is a Theodore Roosevelt Honors Leadership Program Scholar. Seth has been active in the university campus, participating in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and, his, and History Society, and co-hosting the popular DSU show, Hawk Talk. Seth has been involved in the community, volunteering with Best Friends Mentoring Program, and hosting the annual Illuminate Conference at Dickinson State University. Graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Communication and a minor in Leadership Studies, Seth plans to become a pastor and, upon graduation and wants to stay in Dickinson to plant a church here someday. Seth. Looking back at my four and a half years here at Dickinson State University, I can't help but be extremely thankful. When I began my adventure here, I could have never guessed all the ways my life would change and grow as a result of DSU and the Dickinson community. And I don't think that is something that can be said about a lot of places in this world. Truly, the only complaint that I have about DSU is the amount of times I've had to input my username and password on campus in order to get Wi-Fi. <laughs> Those of you who are mobile users know the pain of taking the time to finally get your Wi-Fi credentials set, only to have the system kick you off less than an hour later and make you do it all again. There are a lot of dimensions of my life that would seem like they need, need to be separate from each other, but at DSU, that isn't the case. I felt like every part of me could intertwine and exist with the others. For example, I've had the incredible honor to be a part of the great Blue Hawk football tradition for the past five years. And I also had the opportunity to take part in one of DSU's plays last spring. To some, these two events might seem like they're completely opposite of each other. But at DSU, that isn't. People from all over the world and all walks of life can find something or multiple things that they belong to here. And I believe that is one of the greatest aspects about this school. After all, everybody in the world is just looking for a place to call home and Dickinson State University has become that place. And here's why. It's because of the people. Over the past year or two, I've started to discover that the purpose of life can be summed up in one word, relationship. Relationships are a place of joy and comfort, and they are also a place of tension and turmoil, but that's the only way we really grow. Relationships are the reason we exist in this world, and relationships are the reason that I love Dickinson State University so much. I started to notice that DSU was a special place when professors from my freshman year would say hi to me by name two or three years after I had class with them. And to me, that is extremely significant. One of the biggest reasons I chose this school is because I knew the student to teacher ratio was small and that I could get a very personalized education. But I didn't realize how true this statement was until I shared these moments with my professors years later. And because of it, I now recommend all these professors and their classes to my friends, and I soon will be recommending them to my sister who is transferring here. From my freshman year to my junior year, I worked at the front desk of Stockson Library, where I learned so much about different areas, areas of the world because of the other student workers I was with. They would tell me stories about their homes in South Korea and in Serbia and in Canada, and it would blow my mind that they would move from so far away to come to school in North Dakota. But, I soon realized we all came here for some of the same reasons. And from those personal encounters, I learned that although we might have different stories from our past and different dreams for the future, we are all so much more similar than we are different. And that is one great reason we can have hope for what is to come in the future. I think DSU is one of the only schools where you get the opportunity to know the faculty and even the president on a personal level. I've heard that the president of Rocky Mountain College wears his van shoes to work, which I think is very cool and something you should start to adopt, Dr. Mitzel. <laughs> but I haven't heard of a president who is continually seen walking and talking ar around campus like the ones we've had here, and I'm very grateful for that. 
I'm also grateful that Dr. Mitzel has such an active Twitter account <laughs> because it has presented a very unique opportunity for me. Via a couple of tweets over the past few years, I've requested not one and not two, but three snow days for the DSU community <laughs> in, the, in the name of student safety, of course. <laughs> and President Mitzel granted all three of them, <laughs> which means that I'm three for three in requesting snow days. And for that, I say you're welcome, DSU. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> the community surrounding Dickinson State has had such a huge impact, not only on my education, but also on my personal growth. I like to tell people I've grown from a boy into a man and then back into a boy again over the past few years because I've realized that life is better when you are able to dream and think and fail and then grow alongside your best friends because you know you're a child who is loved by your father. In fact, that is what I consider to be success. Over the years, I've met people who graduated from DSU when it was the teacher's college and people who came to DSU when the mascot was the savages. Hearing their stories and other stories of the past 100 years at Dickinson State brings chills to my body and makes me want to be like them and the thousands of other unique and thoughtful people who are DSU graduates. This community also gave me the opportunity to become a host of the popular DSU show, Hawk Talk, because two alumni, Nate Easton and Parker Robinson, were brave and a little bit crazy enough to believe that a sports talk show would become a community favorite in Dickinson. And now it really has because of their hard work. There are people in the DSU and Dickinson community who have taught me how to dream a li little bit bigger than I might originally want to, and people who have continued to help me up after I have fallen down in failure. And for that, I say thank you. One person in particular I say thank you to is Tyler Dewan, because he has changed my life. Tyler is our campus FCA rep, but he has become one of my best friends. He and his wife Kelsey welcomed me into their lives when I was just a freshman, not really knowing who I was or what I was supposed to do in, in life. I've now had the opportunity to travel across the world to Africa with him, watch their two little girls grow up in front of my eyes, discover who I am as a child of God because of their gentle presence, and realize that our dreams turn into reality when we continue to hope and believe with childlike faith that they someday will come true. It is because of DSU that some of the most important events in my life happened, and some of the most important people have come into my life. Whether it was discovering where I fit in with five other roommates, all with different personalities and still the same amount of messiness as me, <laughs> or walking up and down that giant, wonderful hill that gives DSU the nickname the college on the hill, or even embracing my role as a mentor to younger students who were just like I was at their age, scared and unsure of the future. It's all been such a beautiful journey for one reason, and that's family. This DSU, has, this DSU family has surrounded me when I've needed to be vulnerable. It's fought for me and even fought with me at times when we've disagreed. It's kept me close and pushed me away when it knew I needed to experience more of life and it's been a constant source of joy in my life for the past five years. After all, that's what family is. So today, as you walk out of this building, I want you to take a few moments to pause and look around at its beauty. Whether it's the buildings or the people here, life exists here at Dickinson State. You just have to stop and notice it. And now to finish. I want to extend one more specific thank you to the community that has been my home for the past five years. Dickinson State University, you have completely changed my life. Thank you, Seth, that was wonderful.